TJJ, you already know, it's your boy Joe, back at it again, man. Listen, today I'm going to do something crazy, and I don't know, I've done this before, and I kind of let it go, but this time I'm going to try to stick with it, you know what I mean? So, pretty much what I'm doing is, you know, I'm going to switch from Windows to Linux, right? I hate Windows. If you guys don't know, and y'all know about me that I'm straight Mac, but I have this machine I have a $2,500 computer, a PC, which I bought it just to play video games and video editing. And I'm like, you know what, man? I'm about to start making, you know, some coding here and make some tutorials for you guys. But I don't want to do it through the Windows side. So what did I do? I went to Ubuntu. All right, Ubuntu.com. Click download. Click on desktop. And then I downloaded it the app right downloaded this CD when you click that basically you get to download an ISO which is somewhere here let me put it by date sort by date All right so it's right here right so pretty much I downloaded this right and then I have this program called VMware workstation which ba basically it lets you uh, have like another computer inside of your computer so instead of me having to go and install Linux inside of my hard drive I could just say hey I want to have it virtually All right and that's what I did that's how I got this it's like I have another computer here right this is pretty cool right yeah so I'm going to try to do this. <laughs> you guys is going to actually walk with me and, and try to see if I could actually do this. You know, because the last time I tried this, it was just a headache. But I just don't want to code with no Windows. I feel like Windows is like for losers. <laughs> now nah, I'm playing with you guys. I know a lot of you guys have Windows. But I just don't like it. I don't know. I'm not good with Linux either. So it's like you guys are actually walking in with me through this whole journey of switching from Windows to Linux, right? I don't know which one, Debian or RPM, I don't know what that means. So it's like, okay, uh, let me see, Linux, uh, what is it, I, uh, RPM or Debian Ubuntu. I don't even know what I'm searching for. <laughs> All right. Okay. That dev for. Uh, let me see. Adam Ubuntu. Okay. Well, let me see what it says. Red Hat. Okay. So Debian is Ubuntu, I guess. All right. I'm so crazy. Like, I don't know this stuff, guys. I really don't. So it's like, I'm just like you guys now. I'm like a brand new developer trying to understand this Linux. Because I like how Linux is, you know? Like, it's all nice and pretty. And I think you can move this to the bottom. I want to, can you? I want to have this, like, I don't know. I'll do this later. But, yeah, let's see. Okay, so install. All right. Let's see. Yeah, still going. All right. Installing, oh my god. This is so annoying. Maybe I'll fast forward it. <laughs> maybe or maybe not. <laughs> maybe you guys are, I'll force you guys to watch this waiting, right? While this thing installs. Okay. And installed. I wonder how I could bring this up and be like, okay. That's my files, right? I should come here and click Adam. Oh, shoot. 
No oh, shit. Let me see. Let me see. Am I any? There you go. We in the game now. All right. How can I bring Adam here? Let me see. Can I make lock to launch bar? Yeah. Terminal lock to launch bar. There you go. All right. So let me see. So what I first did, guys. Okay. CD. Okay. I'm gonna go through it so you could guys actually see what I did. Um, I basically I search here. This is where you get all your applications. So I actually came here and click terminal, right? Got the terminal. Once I came here, that's the root folder. So it's like when you see that little squiggly line, that means you're at the root. So what then what I did was pretty much create a and KDR and then I created code. That's why I usually like to write my code right on the the root of the computer, the whole folder of the you know the, <laughs> the whole home page. <laughs> Alright guys, you guys are actually just following me, man, on this thing. This is like my journey to you know coding in Linux. Alright. So okay, what do I do now? So I got code. I got LS, all right, so I'm inside. So let's do this. Cause I'm gonna start doing a you know Instagram. Well, let me get out of here. Instagram uh clone, which is that's the next project, guys. Whoa, well, so yeah, I'm gonna build this for you guys and teach you how to do it. Pretty simple, right? All right. So let's get back into this. Click here. All right. What else do I do now? All right. Yeah. So ls ls means show me what's inside of that folder. So right now, what we did. Remember, we at the root. If we go cd, means change directory, right? So when you click ls it shows you all the file the, the files and the folders that's inside of it right so as you can see all of this are folders this is a, I guess in is a, a file so okay we're gonna go into code so you see CD code now you're inside of code you see there's nothing inside of it but let's make another one make directory Instagram Clone. All right, so we got this. See, I click ls, and then it shows me that there's a folder in there. So let's go. Matter of fact, I'm gonna delete it. See, I delete it. Now I'm gonna recreate it, but with a shorter name, because I would hate to have to write all of that. So. I'm gonna do insta clone. Alright. Alright, so CD insta clone. Click clear. It clears up all of that mess that we have already called. Right? Alright, so now we're in here. Now let's get this party popping. Okay. Open a project. Alright. Let's do this open a project. Coding phase code. Oh shoot! This is not that bad. Matter of fact, let me try to open another project, but inside of the Insta Clone. There you go. Okay, I actually like this. It's pretty smooth. It's my first time actually trying to code inside of Linux. I downloaded Linux before, and I had difficulties. But I guess Ubuntu is pretty legit now. Yeah, guys, so this is what I did to got um, Linux. This is what I'm going to be coding this Instagram tutorial for you guys. All right? See you in a little bit.